This segment is brought to you by Ted's Auto Sales. Hello everyone, I'm Tegan Evans with the Spotlight Media Network, coming to you from the Thomas Central Studios. We are here to bring you some information, updates, and this weekend's weather for Louisville, Ohio and the New Michelin Township area. Second Fridays in downtown Louisville has become a showcase of what Louisville is all about, a community coming together. Well, August is another big show as Heartland comes to town. Heartland is a Michael Stanley tribute band and you are going to love it. And not only will there be a great band, but there's going to be plenty of food vendors, artists provided by the Louisville New Michelin Historical Society, the Farmer's Market brought to you by the Louisville Rotary, family activities, a beer garden brought to you by the St. Louis Church and activities in Umbrella Alley. There's going to be plenty to do and I'm looking forward to seeing you all back down here in downtown Louisville on August 9th. 25 years in the making, the Louisville Rotary is looking to, for help to complete the Metzger Park Amphitheater. The amphitheater pad has stood strong for 25 years, and now with your support, they can finally finish it. The Louisville Rotary Club is seeking donations to make this dream a reality. Mail your donation to the Louisville Community Foundation, P.O. Box 448, Louisville, Ohio 44641. On the memo line of the check, please write Rotary Amphitheater Project or use the QR code provided and they accept PayPal. The first annual Touch a Truck event will be happening on July 27th, 2024 at Metzger's Park. Many first responders and companies will be participating, including the Louisville Police Department and Fire Department, Stark County Sheriff's Department, Medivac, the Marathon Company, Kimball, Junk Loggers, CEI Crane and Rigging, Belden Village Towing, Young Trucks, Edward C. Levy Company, and much more. There will also be food trucks and other things happening at this event. It should be a lot of fun. The Louisville Police Department is looking for your help to prevent and solve crime. Security cameras can be a powerful tool in crime deterrence, and your participation in this program will expand, their, will expand their investigative abilities and help identify potential witnesses or suspects. What do you need to do, you may ask? Register your cameras with the Louisville Police Department. It does not give them free or unrestricted access to those cameras, but it does give them the ability to know where they may be so that if there's a crime in your area, they can contact the owners for assistance. If you're willing to participate, go to the city website and click on security camera registration link. Ohio sales tax holiday is coming up and it is getting an upgrade this year. It will be expanding to 10 days long. What does this mean? This year's sales tax holiday will go from midnight on July 30th through 11.59 p.m. on August 8th. According to the Ohio Department of Taxation, the sales tax waiver will cover property that is basically anything that can be touched, moved, or consumed, also that is $500 or less. Watercraft, motor vehicles, cigarettes, tobacco, vaping products, or anything containing marijuana will not be included. The new list also includes dine-in food purchases at restaurants. Except sales will still apply to beer, wine, cocktails, and other alcoholic beverages. For further information on what does or does not apply, you can go to the Ohio tax website at ohio.gov. Come join the VFW Louisville 7490 for Cruisin' for the Vets, a cruise-in to support our local veterans. The event will take place on Saturday, August 24th, 2024, from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. There will be raffle baskets, a 50-50 drawing, food, and beverages. It's going to be a great time, so go down, check out some cool rides, and support a great cause. This past week was the third annual Louisville Leopard Football Ring of Honor, and the football program inducted its third inductee. This year's inductee was Tom Klebeck. Klebeck, a 1966 graduate of Louisville High School, was a standout for the Leopards in both football and baseball. Tom was also the 1965 WHBC Stark County Player of the Year. Following his success in both sports at Louisville, he moved on to play at the University of Cincinnati in both sports, where he eventually became the MVP of the Bearcat baseball team. Following his athletic career, he came back to Louisville to become the head coach of the Leopard baseball and softball teams along with being an assistant for the football team. It was a great time celebrating Tom and his accomplishments as a Leopard and beyond. We look forward to seeing who the next inductee will be for 2025. It's going to be a warm one this week. Starting on Tuesday, it will be partly sunny. The high will be a warm 85 degrees and the low will be 68 degrees with a 16% chance of rain. On Wednesday, again, partly sunny, the high will be 86 with a low of 66 and a 24% chance of rain. Then on Thursday, a chance of rain showers. The high will be 80 degrees and the low will be 59 degrees with a 42% chance of rain. 
On Friday, sunny with a high of 82 degrees and a low of 58 degrees with a 7% chance of rain. On Saturday, mostly sunny. The high will be 88 degrees with a low of 65 degrees and only a 5% chance of rain. Moving into Sunday and early next week, the rain should stay away to at least midweek in the temperatures in the high 80s and low 90s. That's all for Louisville's weather. Hello everyone, I'm Tegan Evans. As many of you know, when the Louisville Herald moved on into retirement, the city of Louisville, Nimishillen Township, and all of its community members were left with a void. The community lost its ability to hear about local events, news, information, sports, and community projects. We lost the ability to come together for Louisville's betterment. Well, we have a solution for you, Spotlight Media Network. Spotlight Media Network is a place anyone can go, whether it be social media, YouTube, or our website, that will display information in different formats to show the best Louisville has to offer. One last thing, if you have something newsworthy or something you would like the community of Louisville to hear about, send us an email at spotlightlouisville1 at gmail.com. So if you want to see what is happening in Louisville or the best Louisville has to offer, check out Spotlight Media Network, where we know Louisville is number one. The Louisville High School Majorettes are excited to announce the 2024 Mini Majorette Clinic. The clinic will start the week of August 26th and all participants will join the Majorettes on the field at pregame for the game on August 30th against the Northwest Indians. Registration includes instruction from the LHS Majorettes and advisors, a t-shirt and other goodies, and the opportunity to perform. The dates are Monday, August 26th, Wednesday, August 28th, and Thursday, August 29th. Ages are kindergarten through eighth grade. So if you're interested, hit the QR code behind us and register. Mark your calendars for a few special upcoming events around the city of Louisville and Nimishillen Township. The Unhitched Brewing Company for Unhitched Paint and Sip Summer Door Hanger event will be taking place on Thursday, July 25th, 2024. The Louisville Rotary will be having their next evening meeting on July 24th at 5.30 at the Alsatian. Calling all alumni. The Louisville Girls Soccer will be having their alumni game on Saturday, July 27th at 6 p.m. at Louisville Leopard Stadium. Meet the team. Leopard football will be holding their annual Meet the Team at the Louisville Leopard Stadium on August 2nd. Fall registration is underway for the Louisville Soccer Club. Registration ends on August 12th. The Michelin Fire Department will be holding their pig roast at Bud's Corner on August 24th. And finally, congratulations go out to Louisville's own Randy Starr. Randy, who is also the Louisville Rotary president, recently competed in the Pan American Masters Games. The Pan American Games put the best senior athletes from around the globe to compete against each other. This year's events were actually held in Cleveland, Ohio. Randy took to the court and competed in tennis, taking the bronze medal. Randy fell in the semifinals, falling to the eventual gold medal winner, who was from Serbia. We here at Spotlight Media, along with the Louisville and Michelin community, would like to congratulate Randy on a job well done. We are hometown proud. Remember, if you have any news, information, or an upcoming event that you would like the Louisville community to know, please email us at spotlightlouisville1 at gmail.com. Also, like, share, and follow us at Spotlight Media Network on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok to get all of the newest updates around Louisville, New Michelin Township, and the surrounding area. Again, I'm Tegan Evans with the Spotlight Media Network. Have a great week, everyone. <music>